Oh, hello there, uh -oh. children. Get out of here now, children. It's time for the adults. What am I doing? What is this voice? So what I feel is... like what just happened there is you were you were doing chef, and then you were like, "This is too chef." So I'm gonna try to like do something that chef would wouldn't oh, do. Oh, chef from so South Park. That people won't think of. <laughs> That's what I thought it was. What you said? Hello, that there, didn't even children. cross my that didn't cross my mind at all. His but signature oh my phrase. God, I absolutely said a signature phrase. Hey there, children. <laughs> it's me, chef. Yeah. Hi, chef. <laughs> What's, what's, what are you boys so sad about? I shouldn't. We should stop this bit because I'm. I am now impersonating a black man, which we're That's not true. allowed to do anymore. That is not. That is not okay. I hear. That's true. I'm taking. What if it's a job. cartoon? Is that still a no? <laughs> I mean, you're not doing. I don't know. I'm not. I don't know. I mean, it was voiced by an I'm not, actual. I'm not gonna like make a habit of it. <laughs> just. Yeah. Just you know. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> Um, hi guys, it's us, it's Draw Bomb. We're two white guys, so occasionally we're gonna do white guy things. Debating what's racist. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> and hello. <laughs> this is Draw Bomb. Um, this is what it's like. Yes, it is. Congratulations, you've Every chosen time. to spend your time here. Yeah. Um, hello everybody. Um, if there are any children, I'd like to reiterate, get out of here. Go, get gone. This is, this is adult swim time. Yeah, you have to wait till, uh... Draw Bomb Kids Edition, which is a different <laughs> oh show. Man, could you imagine Draw Bomb Kids? What would that even be? It'd be like, I feel uh, like two two kids with crayons. Just have being you like, seen like um, kids YouTube? I think homework is dumb. <laughs> have you seen kids YouTube? Like, no, God no. The, you have? Why would I? Why would I go okay, to? Well, I mean, why would I, I, I watch know. like? I, guess, yeah. I know, I know of like Blippy and Coco Melon, but like, right. no, God no, get me away from that. So. <laughs> I have like you know nieces and nephews that are young and the let's oh well, put yeah it on I'm not watch it I'm not around a lot of children so I mean <clears throat> fair enough in my life fair enough but it's there are adults men I mean obviously like to make YouTube videos you have to be an adult most yeah. you know pretty much legally especially to make money off it yeah. there's people just making bank off of making these like videos that are like they've honed in on what kids want to watch and it's like some of it's just like them like opening like action figures like like unboxing oh, yeah. and some of them are like like just like an adult being like let's go to the zoo and then he's like whoa look at the elephants like like you just go <laughs> they're just hamming it up and i feel like if you don't have shame you can make you can get rich on kids youtube pretty easy. oh for sure easy on kids content you could get rich i i will say i don't watch kids youtube but at least back in like 2016 2017 um, with, with when like kids YouTube started to really pop off, I think um, a lot of the commentary YouTubers I watched would frequently like be like, "Look at this dumb YouTube channel for kids and babies." Like, let's look at how crazy and duck wacky and dumb it is. Right. Oh, wow, what a stupid YouTube channel. Anyways, but they're rich. What? They're making they're making big money off doing that shit. Yeah, they are. They make bank. Cause that's what like those, those are the channels the advertisers pay the most for. And kids will just sit and watch it for like hours. At, like, yeah, you remember Ever. like you know, being a kid. If you weren't outside playing, you were like in front of a screen most likely. Yeah. <laughs> or at least you know that's kind of how it was for me. That was how. Yeah, um, me too. And you just you just do it for long periods of time. It was Not either like, the oh, TV shit, or the computer. Warpark. You just you just get the lit it. Let it rip. So, yep. so I don't know. Like my nephews and nieces, if 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 the parents don't come by and be like, "Hey, you've been on there too much. Knock it off." They'll just like sit there for like like eight hours just watching like a guy with like an action figure being like, doo, 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 doo. <laughs> and then all the commercials that you know come through. Oh my god! You know they get those too. So yeah, I don't know. They get so many. I, what I'm saying is, let's let's pivot. Let's pivot and let's make the big bucks. What if we we, we have, did one you know. episode of Draw Bomb Kids where we're like, the brain that is it school <laughs> hard? Don't you like not like school? You're not even like, you're you're overthinking it. Um, you're thinking like, how do I, how do I, uh, um, have something in common with a child? Let's talk about school. No, it's not even like that. You're you're already using too much brain power. It's just like. <laughs> What would we it's talk like, about? There'll when be we ones where pictures. they just have like a, 
they'll have like a thing of play-doh and they'll just like hit it with like a hammer and like that's Brandon, content for it's kids draw bomb live but for kids so it's got to be like we have to have okay here hold on let me get a new brush i think it's mainly just like we would probably just get a, like our puppets and we just do some like vocal stimming where we're just like <laughs> like the screaming and like <laughs> meme noises um and that's pretty much it and and then we'd finally make the big bucks all right i think i got this Hold on. i'm getting rid of my guy Also, hello to Bell Bell Rocket. Hello to Leviathan Den. Hello to Zenuts who posted hello. before we went live. Um, hello to all of wow. you. So good to have everyone here. The welcome the, the to <laughs> I should not do that voice. Hold on, first. No, of all. you really shouldn't. <laughs> welcome to Draw Ball Live <laughs> for kids and babies. Wow, it's Zowie. Wow, welcome. Oh, cool, you're welcome. using the crayon. <laughs> Welcome, hello, well, well, Brandon, my bestest friend, how are you? I'm doing it, I'm doing it again, actually. I gotta stop doing that voice. <laughs> That's starting to approach not okay territory. Anyways, Brandon, how are you? Wow, wow, wacky, wacky. Hello, Rocket says, we're trying to crack the algorithm. That's right. We're trying wow, to wow, wacky, to wacky. Advantage of... <laughs> wacky wacky <laughs> wow um here's the thing we're not making kids uh youtube right now so all the adults in the chat are going to leave quickly if we <laughs> keep doing this bit are you sure because um why else would the advertisers pay big dollars hello cigarette companies if you want to advertise it is a-okay now come on in give us those ad dollars Brandon! <laughs> okay. What's your favorite your color? <laughs> uh, what, what do we call this show? Uh, Draw Bomb Live for Kids I mean, and Babies! <laughs> yeah. I just like how specific it is. Kids, okay, so here's the, here's something. Uh, we're, we're workshopping this right now. We're going to nail this down. Kid, babies don't okay. like to be called babies. <laughs> <laughs> what did um, you say? I was talking and then I didn't hear what you. It, what if we called it uh, Draw Bomb Live for Big Kids? Okay. <laughs> I think my internet is shutting down right now yeah. because <laughs> it's 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 they're they're silencing you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm I'm actively being canceled right now. <laughs> Let's add some cartoon noises to this. This will help. Okay. Yeah! 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 Shut the hell up, bitch. Don't kill yourself. Go sit in the middle of the road and let a car run over you. We're back. Right. I think we're I think back. That was a good kids episode. I think we did it. Hold on, Brandon! <laughs> What do you do when you get hurt? Like scrape your uh, knee. I I call mom. Me too. Great. Bye kids. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's kind of how it is. Um So obviously like I need to loosen up more if we're going to pull this off because <laughs> I think yeah. I'm not really matching your energy. Vibe, my vibe. I am not matching really your energy at all. Vibe. Honestly, <laughs> all you're doing is you make it look like I'm doing something really offensive, like a really offensive voice that people maybe shouldn't be doing. You make it seem like that when you're so serious. Here's, if you're not here's matching the thing. my energy, we're casting. We're casting two nets. One net is we're gonna get children are gonna watch this because of the way you're acting. Second one is we could say that I'm like doing some kind of charity thing where I'm help I'm doing a, a stream with somebody like you. <laughs> um and you know that will look that will look nice. People will donate money on both ends. Yeah. Perfect. Are you saying that we would abuse sympathy? Absolutely. Okay. So so lean into That's the voice. <laughs>
Hold on, I've been riding my bike to work lately. You don't have to. I'm gonna be right back. Hello! <laughs> no, <laughs> no Welcome more. Welcome to episode two of Draw Bomb for Kids and Babies. Oh God. Br Brandon! I think I just got kicked out of the draw bomb. Oh no. The drawing. Hold on. Oh no. It looks like we're good. I think, you know what happened is I used the brush and the brush apparently, I used the brush in such a large area that it you broke um, it. It broke it <laughs> is what happened. It's too much brush. I think the texture was not ready for it. Oh no, what have I done? I think I broke the picture we were working on. Are you in the, are we both in the same one right now? Um, I am, oh I thought, I've been kicked out, I think. Kids love, um... Brandon, do you love technical difficulties? <laughs> Bella Rocket says, Your baby voice is actually pretty funny, but the yelling does not make it better. <laughs> um... What baby voice? I'm a grown man. That's true. And that's something you're just going to have to wrestle with um, after doing this show. But also, <laughs> I am Widow Baby? <laughs> like Steve from Booze Cruise? <laughs> Is that canon? Is Steve a baby man? I mean, he's kind of dumb, right? <laughs> you explain Steve to me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe... Living in a world of talking salt and pepper shakers, it shakes your, you to your core a little bit. <laughs> I know who is shaken to their core. <laughs> salt and or pepper. Brandon! So. <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite uh, booze cruise? I need to, like, think about every bit I pitched to you and what it might look like before I do so because I feel like I have a responsibility that I'm not taking seriously enough. Oh no. Because I make one joke and now I've put our entire chat through <laughs> what's happening right now. <laughs> oh, I, okay. So because I tend to go overboard, uh, you're afraid yeah. of I wield the, the beast power. Act yeah. Oh no. Ooh. I wield the power. I'll oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Just like, <laughs> oh no, this is going terribly. Uh, um, I'm gonna fix that. I'm deleted fix him. It. I'm gonna fix it. Uh, but if I bring something up, like, hey, wouldn't it be funny if we did this? You will then do it. Um, oh yeah. You've never not done the thing. <laughs> so I need. Uh, that's a responsibility I hold. Yeah. But to not suggest things. Uh, we do end up usually yeah. I do do it like that one time where I said I was it. gonna like stomp my hand like and say our new swear word I still have that saved as a clip on twitch. I don't even know what the hell was going on then um, I don't remember what their swear word was either Tark it was Tark. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a good one Yeah, that was a weird episode we you know this show has been through Not a like lot this of one <laughs> yeah, this one's normal. Uh, this show's been through a lot of mental phases in my life, I would say, where I've, I've got, I've, you know, <laughs> I've been experiencing feelings and things, and they manifest. It is, I will say the show is a more, a more joyful experience lately. Um, <laughs> there were, I feel like we had an era where we were like just mad. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> era yeah. we were mad. A lot of it was us, like, you know. Calling real people out, and yes, you know, talking about how much wishing violence Jeff upon Bezos them to die. And... Right, that was a common thing that hasn't come was... up in a while. Yeah, we haven't said that in a little bit. Um, we haven't like specifically yelled at anybody in a little bit. Like uh, we've we've yelled at Elon Musk before, but we haven't done that for a while. Um, uh, you know, yeah. so we're, we're we're feeling good. Yeah, I think we're finally we're finally we're achieving clarity and peace. Um, hey, we've reached Nirvana. 
That's right. I have Means, ascended. Um, we listen to we listen to a lot of Nirvana. We do, yeah. Something in the way. <laughs> I loved it when they used that in Batman. Yeah, I mean, you know, Batman. I I young Batman that. probably listens to. Oh, okay, I did. <laughs> Did you They're watch making it? a. Uh, I did. They're making a penguin spinoff now. I guess they were oh like, my God. "Boy, this makeup we did is just too good. We can't just let it be a one-off movie." We spent a lot of time. We know we're not getting this. a sequel. We know we're not getting a sequel, and this makeup just looked too good. So we gotta. I guess we gotta just make a bat a, the penguin show. And so they are. Wow. There you go. Can't wait to ignore it. Yes, yeah, so I can't wait to not watch it. <laughs> um, Izzy says, I don't care about Penguin that much. Uh, Bubba Rocket says, I wish you would wear that shirt I got you, lol. Um, fair. Uh, that is fair. You did give me a shirt that I have not worn yet. I, I, now that I uh, have a job, I'm much less grimy of a person. Although I'm still pretty grimy, just from what work does to me. Um... I have no Maybe excuse. you should go put the shirt on. <laughs> I could do that, but then that's it's all the way over there. Pop that <laughs> sucker on. You're gonna want to pop it on. <laughs> <laughs> pop it on. Pop it on. <laughs> what, which episode's that from again? I'm trying to remember. The well, many, many episodes they say pop it off. Yeah, but there's one episode pop that where that shirt off. It's like a running joke. It is, but there's one episode oh. where Dennis is like, "You're gonna want to pop it on," <laughs> or some oh. like some guy. I don't remember. Great show. I could watch it over and over. Same. Comfort show. Which is very funny to me because there's so many people who are like, I can't stand It's Always Sunny. I'm like, I understand it? some of the complaints, but but I love it. Yeah. Um, I, uh, <laughs> Leviathan Den says, I'm currently wearing the kitty shirt we got from your store. <laughs> and then, there you uh, go. show me up. Uh, There's a real friend in the chat. That's right. I'm like you, Ian. Oh, thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road and back again. Your heart is I true. A You're a pal and a confidant. And if you do a party, if you do a party and invited everyone you knew. You would see the you biggest gift is made for me. And, and the, the card attached, attached would say, say Thank you for being a friend. Thank you for being a friend. Thank you for being um, a friend. When you watch a show you like a lot, or watch like the whole series, like let's say Golden Girls, which you have done, uh, yes. speaking of it, since, you know, that was that the theme song. Yes, it was. Um, do you listen to the intro every time, or do you, are you an intro skipper? So here's the thing. I am an intro skipper, but not all of my TVs allow for skipping of intros. And it also depends on the intro, like how how worth it is it? Like you know, Golden That's Girls, fair. the Golden Girls theme song is great, but it is quite a while. <laughs> it, it lasts. They like really two in the eighties and nineties they really liked to just like take their time. Well, I think I mean, it was like maybe like. We don't have 20 minutes worth of TV show. Exactly. So yeah. Watch this five minute intro, please. That's exactly what it was, is they didn't have enough. They were they like, oh man, we save budget if we just play this fucking same thing over and over again. <laughs> Let's just right. do this. We don't have to write extra minutes. I, B. Arthur I'm an Betty intro White watcher. can't stand each other. What's that? I'm an intro watcher. Um, But... The reason I like to do it is not necessarily like that I always love the intros, but I feel like binging a show. I don't know. I feel I feel like I, I go into some sort of like madness every time the like theme song starts that I have to like <laughs> get into it before the episode, even though it, it may not like it. I don't you know. You have to it, watch it, the you know the, the theme it's, song is a necessity. It's part you. of the experience. I feel you. I uh, I like to you know get into it. Gets me pumped up. It's it's the appetizer before the entree. It is the appetizer. It's the amuse bouche, if anything, you know. Um, 
I completely understand. Um, here's the thing. Like, if the show is, like, ending, like, if it's, like, the final season or final episode and I'm like, oh, man, this show's going to be over, I will stop skipping the intro. Um, you wait till the very last one. Give it another <laughs> shot. It's like uh, yeah, all right. on the Arrested Development DVD, the final four episodes were all basically one episode when they aired it. But in the DVD, it's four separate episodes that just like link into each other. And so they play the intro in the beginning of the four episode arc. So when I was watching the DVD and I'm like, the show is about to end. I was like, oh, I love this show. Um, and then for the uh, they, for the first of the four episodes, they play the theme song. And then they don't play it for the next two because it's all like the same episode. And I was kind of like, oh, because it's also it's a very quick one. And it's like a, it's like a really cool intro. I like the rest of development. I like the rest of development as a whole, but yeah. like the intro is, is great and unique. It's quick, um, and and that I always watch a quick one. Yeah, it's the always long ones that one. I start to debate on whether yeah. I'm gonna do it or not. Yeah, like F- Frasier was actually one of the first shows to have a quick intro. Wow. It's it's uh it it's really blazing the trail. Yeah, or the first sitcom at least. It was literally just like Frasier for like five ten seconds. It's done, and it's always classy and it's nice and it's like he a, hears the blues of Colin. Um. That's the there's some cross cells, there's some scrambled eggs, and then we're we're out <laughs> that's, of there. That's right. Oh yeah, yeah the, the intro is just like. Yep, and it's actually different right. sometimes. It's like a different. It's like a different melody oh. every so often. But it's usually like. So I'm trying to think what the draw boy's dog would look like, and I'm, I was originally gonna make his head the bomb, but what if his body was the bomb? I feel like that might be a mm. good. Question. Adjustment for that. I'm gonna do that. All right. Yes, I hear the blues are calling. <laughs> Toss salads and scrambled eggs. Blah, 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 blah. Quite nice. <laughs> you may seem a bit confused, but baby, I've got you pegged. Um. The rocket says, "Kids shows know all about good friendship," and then she corrected, "Kids and babies." That's right. Shows. Kids and babies. As you can see, I, I don't think any. What's up? I don't. Does any of our audience have kids or babies? I don't think so. At least not uh, the regular. Maddie no. F. When he chimes in, you know. That's right. That's right, Maddie F. Um. But he normally doesn't watch that often. I think because of the kids and babies. Because of kid, the kids and babies, they do get in the way. <laughs> Just understandable. Monday nights are. Take care of kids and babies nights. Gotta take care of those kids and those babies. I mean, I guess every night is that, but more so. Well, Brandon, what have you done this week? <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Um, I went to Short Short Fest. That's one thing. Hey, you should definitely Ayo. talk about that. Did you get lost? Yeah, it was awesome. No, I did not. <laughs> I thought about it the Damn whole time. It. Um. But speaking of the the trip, um, bullshit. It was Sorry, kind of, go ahead. <laughs> it was like it's kind of out in a rural area uh, where the the Michigan one is. Yeah. And uh, on the way in, we were seeing tons of deer, and uh, we saw a bald eagle. But um, Ooh. tons of deer, and I'm like, okay, it's gonna be scary driving out of here because it's just like back roads with. A million deer. They like to move around at night, and yes, there's no like street lights. So, uh, I was right. Leaving, there was like many deer crossing the road, uh, and then I saw Lee posted that he actually hit one of them with his with not not as not his mystery machine, but his like black van. Oh my god! And I'm just like ah oh. no. I'm like I bet he wasn't the only one because there's just so many deer around. I drove I real slow out of there for like an days. hour. Yeah, I'm sure people, I mean, people in Michigan know how it is, but it's just, they're everywhere. They're like rats. They just, Jeez. they're constantly sprinting into the road. <laughs> Almost everybody I know has hit a deer. It's just a part of life here. They're, they seem cute and majestic until you live in a state where they're just like, there's more deer than people. Right. Um, but yeah, I didn't hit a deer. That's Lee good. did, but he's fine. So. Glad to hear it. I'm glad you're okay <laughs> yeah, anyways, out, out there. The show's great. Uh, it's at, it was at a, a drive-in theater, which is like an awesome setting for it. It's 
to like you literally watch it on the giant screen uh, yeah that place does look uh, like, super sick and uh our cartoon went over really well i i we got a lot of laughs um yeah. people enjoyed it uh that felt good to see i'm glad so, to hear it i don't know it was awesome it was a good event it was a good time cool i uh they had a raffle i spent a good amount of money on a whole bunch of tickets to try to win this uh regular show storyboard and i did not win <laughs> no but, but i'm happy to you know i'm happy to support them regardless well that yeah you, that is nice of you to support them but uh i did not I did not go home with anything Any, anyways though it was it was great it was really fun um well very cool is this the second year that we've been in it i think i wasn't able to make it last year this is the second year draw bomb has been in it the first year right was just me yeah oh you had a cartoon in it the first year uh three years ago yeah i had the uh the one where i was the secret agent tied up in the chair and i start crying oh right nice that probably went over pretty well it did actually people were seem to really like it it's a good one yeah i'm very proud of it that's why we're uh here now doing draw bomb the way we do it you know <laughs> it's uh uh, it's it's you know I was testing the waters of animating in Clip Studio Paint and I liked it. I remember I re rekindled. Something oh, that was the first me. time you used Clip Studio. Uh, that animation, yeah, the the Secret Agent one was my. I mean, I'd used it so like my first time. I mean, we're not using, using Clip using Studio it. now. No, no, no. We're using DrawPile. Um, but to do animations and stuff, I've been using Clip Studio pretty much since I started doing animation again. Um, but the first time I, I did animate in Clip Studio Paint, um, was when Pendleton Ward was streaming on, uh, Lord Spew's, uh, Twitch stream, and they were doing, like, the draw-along, like, kind of things, where you could, like, sort of yeah. do a little thing with them. Um, so I, like, because it was Pendleton Ward, <laughs> um, I opened up Clip Studio Paint, and, like, while we were, they were, like, doing the, uh, submissions and stuff like that, uh... I was like teaching myself how to use Clip Studio Paint to animate and like doing these goofy little animations uh, for the thing. And I had a lot of fun That's doing cool. that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it just kind of, I remembered how much I liked animating. Yeah, and look at you now. Look at me now. I said I was done, but then, uh, got me. It's funny, uh, I. I remember there was a period while I was like in school and stuff and shortly after where people like I think people go to animation quickly when they think of like arts because it's just like one of the few like arts that people choose to consume. Yeah. So it's like familiar. People are like, Oh, are you gonna do like cartoons? And I'm like, No. I'm like, No, animation's too much work, I'm not doing that shit. <laughs> yeah, now I got here I am a lot too. doing that yeah. shit. <laughs> doing that, yeah, that's the thing is I, I like quit doing animation because I was just like it's too much time it Takes too much effort To do anything and it's a stressful thing and it's it's you have to do a lot of thinking And uh, yeah, it's a slow love it. <laughs> you know, you put a lot of time in to get a, not much uh, Out of not it. much result. Yeah well, and, Real quick uh, uh, Double Rocket says, "Oh, cool! I would have liked the giant screen at Short Short Fest. I was missing my glasses. Yeah, it was it was really cool. And then, we, I mean, next year we'll have to plan better because it's straight up a drive-in. So we're like, we sat in the back of our car and we're like, we had like a van, so we like opened up the, the hatch and we we're just sitting in the back. But I'm like, we need to bring some more snacks, cooler, yeah. you know, maybe like some nice chairs, you know, really set ourselves up for success next time. But it was yeah. still great." That's awesome. How also did you says, like was the? Was missing uh, you when we went, Brandon. Oh, it would have been awesome to go to the the Philly one. Maybe one of these years, with, like time will line up and I can make it out for it. That'd be great. That'd be sick. It's you could meet Tom Fult. <laughs> yeah, I think Action Clock is the more forgettable half of the duo, though. You, well, you were more of a mainstay. I mean, I was just in the Clock Crew for a bit longer, <laughs> like, mm -hmm. um. But you know, hey, don't 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 sell yourself short. 
people, every time people talk to me, they also ask about you. We're like a duo. <laughs> like we, we, we straight I'm became that, a team. I'm in that the curse. Here. I'm a growth. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You're my tumor. <laughs> they added you. Everybody got all the all the clock crew like mainstays like yourself got emotes. Except yours has me in it too on on Newgrounds like of, official emotes. No, no, no. Yours, uh, but they you're, they included. Oh, are they separate? I thought it was like yeah, a. No, no, they're separate. All of them were their own, and then we had like a, a twofer. No, no. It's you get your own. You got your own. Emote. Oh, okay. We are. But it, oh, god how, dang. How nice is it to be emotes on new well, though? <laughs> now that I know that I'm I don't need you. Oh no. I'm out of here. Oh jeez. I thought my emote status was based on just latching onto you like a leech. Adios. Oh no, he left. He left. Oh. Well, this just became a sad episode of Draw Bomb, everybody. This is no longer Draw Bomb for kids and babies. This is now Draw Bomb for grown ass men and women and anybody else. <laughs> So, oh, wait, I have beer. I forgot. I had a what little bit. I had a little bit of time to think about all this, and I feel like I was a little too harsh. Um, you were really harsh. I, if you'll have me, um, I would like to, um, collect all the assets we've created so that I can use them in my future endeavors. Adios. Oh. <laughs> He'll be back. He'll be back, right? He'll be back. <laughs> Alright, I'll be back now. Hello, welcome back. Hello, hello, hello. So we're making Gosh, a drop. <laughs> this drop bomb for kids and babies is gonna be a hit. I know that. This is people are this is gonna pop off. People are gonna love it. Kids and babies. Will love it. Kids and babies will love it. People will well, be very annoyed people. by it, but they'll be thankful that that their kids are uh, like hypnotized by it. So we'll release the show, and then we'll be like, "Folks, the kids and babies menace has been dealt with. Thank you very much. You can go about your days now. You can watch us on Mondays. Just watch it on Mondays." Ian, how's your week been? It's been I good. I talked about mine. How was yours? It was good. This weekend I went to my friend's wedding reception slash official That's wedding right. thingy. Um, <clears throat> uh, it was at like a mansion that they had rented out as like a venue plus pl uh, slash place to stay. It was a lot like the place that we stayed at, um, but it had like this whole oh, compound. Cool. Like it had like all of this yard space and like there was a separate house that like was also a place that we used to party in. Um, I almost so, our wedding was almost in a place just like that except uh, we could we couldn't get it during the summer and that would have been the issue like yeah. half the spot is like the outdoors the outside area so if you don't have that what what an absolute waste you know what I'm I think saying? It, I think you made the right choice considering we used the outdoors as like a freezer for the food in your car <laughs> to hold <it> over <laughs> I no I mean we made the right choice regardless because the place oh, man, we a had great was venue. i love the place so great yeah like it I, was awesome the way you guys you had know. set it up and like how everything looked and like just like it was a really nice huge area to like just rock out in it was awesome you rocked out all right i sure did the record show i rocked out at this party too actually i did <laughs> i got my good. rocking out good at one point there you was like know, be, you know worry something was wrong <laughs> i didn't strictly dance there wasn't a lot of dancing at this party but there was a lot of other just like wackiness going on um okay. like uh at one point <laughs> there was karaoke on like a, a tv and what when i say karaoke somebody was just like pulling up youtube videos and then they had like one of those like cheap microphones that you like yell into and then it like amplifies your voice really badly you know 
so we yeah. were doing karaoke on that like we were all fucked up and like how we were doing karaoke on that like me and like an old coworker who i didn't realize was going to be there but like she's great and uh we were just like screaming into this like microphone <laughs> like these songs like no <laughs> one would enjoy it. like we were awful we were awful just screaming into like a, a megaphone essentially <laughs> of like these songs and that was a lot of fun um what else what was better it? Better way to celebrate a couple's union. <laughs> yeah. That was in one room of like many. <laughs> and uh at one point we played Twister, but we didn't have a mat, so we used like this crazy carpet that there was there, and we would just like if you'd have to like find the one patch of like red if you wanted to like do it. That was cool. Um we also used the chair. The chair was fair game. Um no, it was, it was very crazy. I didn't go to bed till five. <laughs> In this, um, so when you didn't go to bed to five, was that because you were enjoying yourself or because you were trying to find your way home? Uh, because I was, I mean, I slept in the room right next to where a lot of the party was happening. I, I, okay. I wasn't yeah. sure if maybe you stayed up all night because you were lost. No, I didn't get lost on my way home this time, Brandon. I think, I appreciate your concern though. I was fine. <laughs> yeah. Good. Good. Uh, um, I did go zip lining. Um, during the wedding, cool. what a wow! <laughs> I they was only there for the zip line. Yeah. Um, <laughs> ah. <laughs> um, no, but like I showed up at like the mansion, and I was like, "Hey!" I called the guy up. I'm like, "Hey, I'm here. W what's the plan?" And he's like, "Hey, do you want to go zip lining?" And I was like, "Yeah." And he's like, "It's a minute oh. drive from you." And so I drove like a minute down the road and there was a zip line place. There's a zip line place in West Philadelphia and it's actually, it's pretty fucking sick. <laughs> like I had a great time. Wow. Have you zip lined before this event? I have not. This was Your also like it, zip line. It was zip line and treetop obstacle courses. Okay. Yeah. I usually pair those together. That's yeah. fun. It was awesome. I loved it. I, and, and like, I thought I would be afraid of the heights. I mean, it helps that I was like attached I was gonna say, by I a sea hook. A, a heights situation. I do, but here's um, the thing. Yeah. I get, I, I get afraid of heights. Like, I get near heights, and then I get like vertigo, and then I, that freaks me out <laughs> because I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna fucking fall the fuck over into the site. I'm sorry. I always just like stop your momentum and like break things down. But uh, regardless, I, I love the. <laughs> The description of getting near heights. So you're like, <laughs> like the edge, like the ledge. Right, so, like, so do you heights are up there? The heights are up there, and then you get near them. Yeah, you get near them. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're down here. The heights are up there. The heights are up there. Um, we're down here. You gotta stay away from those. You're scared of those heights up there. Very scared of them. Yeah. Otis Box says, "I've come to hear the draw bomb song. You're late. You you can't hear them now." Can't hear it. You can't go back. You can't hear it. Yeah, hear if we play it now, the show starts rendition. over. Yeah, that'd be crazy. And then we got to so do another. I skipped it because I'm an intro skipper. <laughs> I love all these new soundboard clips you have, Brandon. They're great. I don't think I don't think anybody heard that one because we were during the. They heard the end intro. of it. Or was during I the faded intro. in. I, I faded in because oh, I'm an okay. intro skipper. Yes, you are. Yes, you if are. Lotus had been here earlier. Right. Lotus would get that joke. Well, that's all right. Well, get your hand off my penis. Um. <laughs> I don't know what you just did, but the stream exploded. Oh my! I, the, my stream, my computer and stream have been exploding. Did do that as thing. of late. Was that? Did it do that thing, that noise thing that it does sometimes. Sometimes oh. the noise like makes a crusty noise. I don't oh, know. He said the stream exploded. I was curious what that was. I'm curious too. I'm yeah. not sure. I did see that my internet took a dip and then came back. Maybe it was, it's part of those blue screens I've been having lately. <coughs> it could be any number of things. <coughs> so I don't know. Um, are you? What, are you okay over there? <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. I'm just, I've been drinking these presses, which were left over from the... I don't know why they call them presses. They, it, was, it just says press. But um, 
uh, these oh, are leftovers. Press, then. What? I don't know. You're the one who called it presses. I know, everyone I was talking to at the wedding called them presses. But I'm like, these are just presses. Well, maybe they're just saying, like, like you would say, like, hey, let's have a few white claws. Let's have a few presses. Nah, that can't be it. Okay. <laughs> I did hear them use it singular. How do you describe multiple? Maybe, like, can I get a pressa? <laughs> or something like that. that. That did happen, I swear to gosh. Hmm. Uh. I don't know. Yeah, Sounds right. like a lie to me. Oh, man. We'll never know. Lotus Clock says, I see dog cat yo near the house. No, that's that's like a dog, dog bomb. bomb. <laughs> or, um... Bomb dog. He's hot dog. I don't know. We'll he's keep workshopping the name. He's a, he's a hot dog. Hot dog. Uh, What's up, hot but, dog? You know, he's a unique character in this world because... His tail is diffuse instead of his head. You don't see a lot of that don't see in the draw bomb universe. We're still expanding the draw bomb lore and like what counts as a bomb. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never know the answer. Get your hand off my penis! <laughs> Get your hand off my penis! This is the bike who got me on the penis, people. Paypal? <laughs> what, what a G. That's like Matthew Barry hero. like levels of... <laughs> like, it is very Matthew Barry. <laughs> I want him to reenact that scene. I want Matthew Barry to like do that scene. Yeah, that'd be great. Have you watched Toast of London yet, by the way? Like, have democracy you? Democracy Manifest. This no, is Democracy not. Manifest. Because you got it. Toast of London is like him just being so fucking British. I will. I just, Everyone around I him is being so British. How dare you, Brandon? Get on it. Get on oh, it. How dare you? How dare you? Man, this is this is quite the draw bomb for kids and babies we've done here. Yeah, I, I think we could probably move on. I think we can. <laughs> Look at us. We got the title card this... done in the first hour. We used to try for this every time. Yeah. You know, kids and babies have lower standards, so we can kind of just like. What's also crazy is that we didn't even Shoot discuss this picture ahead of time. Ooh, ew. <laughs> Don't talk about kids and babies and play that sound and say shoot one out. Don't do that. <laughs> hey, you're drawing connection that I was not making. What, what were you saying? I don't remember it. No, stop it. <laughs> stop. No. Get your hand off my penis. All right, let's save this one unless you have anything else to add to it. I do not. Kids and babies. Drop on for kids and babies. We've done it. Hi, Blandy! <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe use the number four instead of the word four, you know, for kids and babies, because kids will appreciate. Um, True. I think you're right. That instead. I think you're absolutely right about this. It's cool. Fucking you know, it's layer. cool. Fucking layer down, what do you put a Z on the kid? Now we're just going to, that's, that's too old for kids. Is that, that's is like, that a road that's too like far? Ten, that's like too many, that's, that, like, that, that's those are like skateboard kids. Those are scary kids, okay? Yeah. We are very scared of them. Yeah. No, this needs to be a safe place. But that's kids right. know num kids and babies know numbers probably before they know the alphabet, right? I don't that's know. That's right. Maybe not. There you go. Boom. Now, now this drawing's complete. That's what this it is. This is done. <sighs> Got right. your head off it's my penis! Alright, let's draw Let's figure out what we're gonna do next. So, guys, we were talking about playing a game. Um, I do have a list of games that we could play. These would be art games. Um... I'm gonna get this list up and maybe you guys in the chat can help us figure out which game to play. Yarsh. Yarsh. Get trying off my penis! Um, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna say that once in a while now. It's become a thing. Gentlemen, this it's, it's is Democracy, democracy Manifest. manifest. Alright, so. Uh, this is the list of right, the games right here. 
don't know if folks can see that, but I'm going to read them out. So we've done an Exquisite Corpse pre pretty recently, so I feel like we should do that one. We could draw a Scyther from memory. Are you ready to draw a Scyther from memory? Mm. Sure, let's give it a go. All right, we're going to do it. Put that timer up. Okay. Get the timer going. The passage of time is our own worst enemy. It's time to draw a Scyther from memory. Joe Biden. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Timer is going. Draw a Scyther. Wait, I need bitch. to hide your. Yeah, me too. I hide your layer, so. I'm gonna stop the timer it. then. I'm gonna stop the timer. The timer okay. is gonna stop. Don't, don't think. Draw. I got excited. I'm sorry. Joe Biden. <laughs> so bad. All right. Here we go. Passage of time is Timer going again. Worst enemy. Hold on one sec. Are you left or right? I'm right. Okay, good. We usually do it that way because of our hands. Okay. Oh, I didn't think about that. I mean, you're left, right. and I'm right. Oh. Hey, you know, you know. <laughs> okay. All right. Start. Yeah. Your engines, folks. We're drawing Scyther from memory. Passage of time is our own worst enemy. Now we're drawing Scyther from memory. Go Biden. <laughs> so, Brandon, what what do you do? What are your techniques going into this? How what are you do trying you do? To, how do you how are you trying to visualize Scyther? Really trying to think about the spots I usually have issues with and make sure I get those right. Um, I'm going to blow it again. I already know it. I'm going to let you know um, right now. I'm actively blowing it and I know it. Yeah. Why do, why do I never learn? It's crazy, right? <laughs> it's crazy. We've, we play this right. game a uh. lot. <laughs> Yeah, it's the most played game on our show. Which is a high honor. So Last I could like, you know, I could, when we're not on air, I could practice, but I feel like that would not, this wouldn't be fun if we did that. Because I feel the like game we need to over. learn on the screen. Yeah, I agree with you. I have specifically gone out of my way to not practice, and if, God forbid, Scyther is, like, in front of me for some reason, I try not to analyze the details, I try not to remember. I only try to Not only to do I remember. not practice, it seems like I'm actively trying to forget. When I am regressing. <laughs> I am certainly regressing. I feel like my current thing right now is the closest I've ever gotten, but I'm... It's still gonna be bad, I think. Yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm getting there. This is like awful and ugly and oh, not good. Oh, I'm cooking now. I got some things happening. Oh boy. I feel like I'm getting a lot of the details I got wrong a lot of the time, but I'm forgetting the overall glue that holds it together. Go by them. <laughs> I'm gonna draw Scyther from memory right now. President Biden, that is. That you're Lee. Oh, wow, well, he's cool anyways. <laughs> See, that's that's how I knew President Biden wasn't fit to run for another... That's why he had to drop out. Uh, it's because he couldn't drop out. Yeah, and he couldn't him draw side there. From memory. Very good for memory. <laughs> that's the test, the true competency test. I try not to talk about politics on the show, and I don't, I don't plan on doing that. But we do like to shit on billionaires and that's loud um and right as the show is about to start they're trying to do a one of those live twitter oh, things elon musk is elon and Donald trump yeah and yeah but i mean i don't know if you saw when ron DeSantis and elon musk tried to do this it was like oh it got heated, so broken it? and they they couldn't no they couldn't even get it to work just like you'd hear people whispering of like is it on is it, is it working and they couldn't get it to work and then all of a sudden finally like after like hours of trying to get it to work ron DeSantis was like I'm just saying I'm running for president. It's like I think it's like <laughs> got discouraging. Um. And anyways, it seems like this one's going the same way. Uh, right oh, before gosh. I came on, they were like, couldn't get it working. Well, just funny. Couldn't. Couldn't like happen to, to two nicer people. people. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. 
Yeah, all politics aside, I just like to watch rich people fail. Yeah. Um, that's what's happening. Love to see it. Um, hey, uh, I, I do have some interesting news. Not politics related. Not really related to anything we've been talking about. But I do have interesting news. Uh, you know Tango Gameworks? Yeah. The yeah, video yes. game company. How they were shutted down after they made Hi-Fi Rush, which I quite thoroughly enjoyed and everyone seemed to really like and, and won a bunch of awards. Yes. Well, apparently they're opening back up. They're unshutting down. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. I That's don't great. Understand. It's weird. I, I'm going to look up the, the info real quick because... um. I've already finished drawing my scyther. Do we have to color them? Are we coloring our scythers from memory? Uh, you don't have to. I might. Just because I'm, I'm to that point. I don't think it'll be too difficult to do that. You got 20 but, seconds to do it. Yeah, okay, I'm changing my answer. Yeah, you have to do it. Oh, the timer's gonna work. Yeah, I can do it in 20 seconds. Um, okay, so the guy, the people who are the publishers for PUBG basically bought Tango Gameworks from Microsoft and then opened the studio back up. How do you feel about that part? The PUBG I mean, I uh, guess publishers? I guess it doesn't matter who owns it. I mean, sometimes yeah. it does. Um, I mean, any publisher is going to be a thorn in your side. Uh, by the way, with the the timer finished, it didn't play a sound, but the timer is done. Okay. Are you ready? I'm gonna finish a couple, couple smushes of color, and I'm ready. I'm as ready as I'm gonna be. Okay. Um. All right. I'm gonna reveal yours. I think I did you pretty good. Mine. I mean, yours is definitely good. <laughs> mine is ugly and awful. Um. Let's see yours. Oh my God! This is one of your. <laughs> you have not improved. Since last time. I feel like I got the details right, but it's just ugly right now. You know what I mean? Um, I think your legs are closer than mine are. I think I keep adding the joints, and it's like just a big chunky leg that comes down. I think your bottom wings are going the wrong way. I think you're right. I don't know, let's see. Let's just take. Let's stop. You know, picking it apart. Let's just take a look. Didn't Zenus uh, draw Cypher on Discord a while ago? Sorry, you go ahead. Uh, yes. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Uh, he, did he does a good job at this. We fail. Um, yeah. Lowe's Clock says, it's a praying mantis. They're not that difficult. Look, it's not exactly like a praying mantis. Jesus. Uh, yeah. You, let's see you draw a scyther from memory. <laughs> it's a praying mantis mixed with, like, a dragon. Alright. I, I, there's always this one picture that we use specifically, and I feel like it's the best one. For this, but do you feel like maybe we should try and vary? I feel like a lot of times we end up tr trying to draw less Scyther and more the picture. You know what I mean? Maybe oh, we should tr assume. try. Maybe we should use multiple. I'm gonna use multiple forms of reference for this. So this is the picture we always use. Okay, so I'm I'm trying to like log some stuff in my head so that I can improve. This is from the game. So I, I always I always add one too many joints. Seems like I always give him knees and elbows, but they don't have. He does not have knees or elbows. One sec, one sec. Okay, these are the reference pictures for Scyther that we can use. So. Yeah. Um, you nailed the shoulders. The head shape is Your the closest you've ever gotten. Yeah. Yeah, I, when I said like, oh, I'm on a roll, I had the, I had the shoulders, top part of the torso, head and wings done. And I'm like, this is mm. looking good. And then everything else went wrong. <laughs> kind of. Yeah, you didn't draw his little <laughs> vest. Um, yeah, I just get his body wrong. I mean, I got the closest to the best that I've gotten. This is, I think this but is the like bottom these part. The, I, I, you didn't do too bad on the bottom part, honestly. I mean, you just got to draw a fuzzy good. little connector and then like you mostly got it. I need to get rid of knees and elbows. That's what I'm, that's, if there's one thing I can speak to myself in the future. Knees and elbows. Remember. So I do that every time. Get rid of those bonus joints. They're not needed. 
I feel like, uh, look, mine's ugly, but like a lot of the details are there. The general body shape is there yeah. for me. Yeah, you got some, some things are, are, are pretty good. Yeah. You got some of the scruffiness that he has like by his head, but you did it on his chest. I did it on his chest instead. Yeah, that's exactly where I, I transposed it. He's, he's scruffy. He's got big shoulders and big hips. Um, yeah, he scruffy do. Scruffy hips, by the way. Um, scruffy hips. Okay. Okay. Things. Next time. Next time is going to be the time. I can feel it. Good. I'm so close. All right. Yeah, we're getting there. I think we're getting there. I think having these extra this, references. Because I feel like this all needs helpful. to go down into the history book. Yeah, this is a real milestone. When we finally get it. It would be crazy when we can finally draw Scyther from memory. What should we, when we, when that day comes, should we just devote the whole episode to drawing Scyther? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the, what the celebration is. What is the protocol here? What is it? So, what's another character we yeah. could draw from memory? Hmm. Would you be able to draw Johnny Bravo? You could try. That'd be a fun one to try. Alright. I'll probably do a bad job. But that's what makes it. Okay. Johnny Bravo. Okay. Everybody remembers Johnny Bra Bravo's uh, famous line. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Good, good stuff. All right. God, stop being I green, that's bro. A strawberry clock, but that's that's too easy. That's just a strawberry with a clock. Yeah, we've I've drawn strawberry clock. you already too many times. You're already. Oh, you're starting. I have to hide your stuff. Oh shit! I should hide your stuff. I'm sorry. Okay, I haven't started. Yet. How kind of how his hair is, but I don't really know. <laughs> it's gonna come out looking like Beavis. <laughs> You're right, that is a very distinct possibility. Yeah, I definitely have a lot of Beavis energy right now. How much did you watch Johnny Bravo as a as a lad? I didn't really, unfortunately, because I didn't have cable at the right time That's to get right. the good stuff. Right, you had to watch Veggie Tales. <laughs> I, you know, it wasn't as, it wasn't that dire of straits. Like I still had like, <laughs> like, um, you had to eat soup. And you like Saturday morning cartoons on like on like your local access stuff was like I don't know. Like I got a lot of the, a lot of stuff. I don't know, but none of the good stuff. When you wanted to watch Letterman, you had to read Posts, man. When the winters came, you had to eat one of your television sets. That's right. My parents wouldn't let me watch South Park. I had it rough, too. I, um, so my parents, cable was contingent on our grades, and my grades were always good, my brother's is sucked, mm. and then they got rid of cable, and I'm like, I think this was just a scam, so that you, you guys wouldn't cable. have to keep cable, because they knew he was not a, a winning, oh, no. <laughs> he was a losing racehorse, um, and it didn't matter how hard I fought, cable was gone. That's unfortunate. One of the great injustices. I'm sorry to hear that. That sucks. <laughs> That's, That's rough. Right. I was pretty thrilled eventually when we got satellite because I could watch G4. Wow. I remember G4. I remember G4. I wonder if it was as cringy as I remember it being. <laughs> Probably in some ways. I mean, the X-Play was great. So was Cinematech. Um, Attack of the Show is pretty cool. Loved Attack of the Show. 
Everything else was kind of bad, though. Like, cheat was really weird. Um, what was cheat? Cheat was, uh, they had, like, uh, some Dallas Cowboys cheerleader presenting a show where basically they taught you how to, like, enter cheat codes into different games or, like, check out this cool Easter egg. How to get these cool Easter ah. eggs or... Previous to the internet when you had to get that stuff from just, like, word of mouth. Yeah, exactly. Or you buy a book at, like, the book fair that has, like, codes in it. Exactly. Yeah, that was, this, this was definitely, like, the prime of days. Oh, God. Oh, no. I've already, uh, blocked your back out, but I just want to say Maybe. yours looks hideous. I know. Gotta fix the feed. Yours is actually really close. <laughs> I was just being mean. Um, what else was there on G4 though? There was cheat. There was these two guys like Tommy Tellerico and some other guy. They were super cringe. Um. Yeah. Mostly those two I remember. <laughs> then there was also like when they tried to like get into the This is a programming show for men. And I was like, oh god. You watch a lot of Spike TV? No. That was but, like cancer of a channel. Yeah, it really was. Ugh. What were they before Spike TV? They were like what? PCL hear, or something like I that. I hear it all know it. I'm gonna look it up. Ooh, these peanuts are spicy. These peanuts are make me thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to say it. So let's see. I'm looking up Spike TV right now. I think it used to be CMT. Huh. No, that's a country music channel. TNN. Yeah, it was TNN. Really? Okay. I remember TNN, but... The Nashville Network. Where they would do country music, variety shows, outdoor programming, motor racing coverage. And then they were purchased by Gaylord Entertainment Company. And then they changed to the CMT. Or they bought CMT. Country music television, and then all the music programming from TNN was shifted to CMT. Uh, real quick, uh, Lotus Box says, I didn't watch Johnny Bravo, but uh, Simon Belmont from Captain N was pretty much the same thing. Um, Life and Den says, Love Johnny Bravo as a kid. Lotus Box says, I could never watch Ed, Ed, and Eddie, I thought it looked like garbage. <laughs> I think it was a good show, but they were ugly for sure. They were ugly on purpose, yeah. I liked sometimes I liked the anime. animation has to, yeah, sometimes the shows have to be good to get past the way they look. I feel like yeah. Bob's Burgers is one of those. There's a few of Bob's Burgers is ugly but a great Grandma. show. Uh, Big Mouth is ugly but a great show. Um, Big Mouth, I couldn't get past the ugliness, I don't think. I, I watched don't blame like, you. a few episodes and I was just like, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. It's definitely a very, con it's a very, uh, not, it's also, yeah, it is controversial, but it's a very, um, divisive show in terms of if you like it or hate it. You, you're not gonna, you're not gonna just be like, eh, Big Mouth's fine, whatever. You're gonna either like it or you're gonna hate it. <laughs> or maybe you'll be like, Big Mouth's fine, but you'll, you'll either feel positively or not in any way about Big Mouth, or you'll fucking hate it. There's no just general disliking of Big Mouth. People seem to... Except for you, maybe. Maybe you're the one. You're the unicorn. No, I don't... I mean... How do you feel about Big Mouth, Brandon? Um... I don't know. I, I didn't think it was that funny, and the animation was kind of ugly to me, so I, I turned it off. But I also didn't give it that much of a shot. I watched, like, three episodes. Well, there you have it, folks. I actually, I wasn't super sold on Big Mouth right away, too, but once I finished the first season, I was like, I, th I thought the first season came together in a pretty solid way.
Yeah, I, I didn't give it enough of a shot, I don't think. But, uh, you know, those are my book by their cover uh, reactions. Yeah, I mean, it is an ugly show. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry, these peanuts are making me thirsty. Um, the, uh, the, it's, like the, the show is ugly. You do get past the art style after a while, and it kind of has its charm in spots, but it is very ugly starting out, and it... it it does look that way for the the whole show, <laughs> so. A couple other quick things. Uh, Los Puck says, when the stream doesn't ad break, you guys get notified. If I'm looking at the right screen, I will see that it's happening, but I rarely am looking. It doesn't make any noise or anything pop up for us. Um, I have to be looking at a specific thing. So, no, usually the answer is not really. Yeah, and I don't um, see it. Goliath Dunn says, I hold a very... A special affinity to Courage the Cowardly Dog. Yeah, that's a great one. Courage is great. Definitely had to be fun to make. I feel like it's stylistically all over the place. Yeah. Um, and then Lotus Clock says, I'm still in shock that Ian Newton never watched the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, that was one That was one of my main shows as a kid. One of my main cartoons I watched. Hmm. Because that one you didn't need cable for. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Well, that's, that is a good show to watch, so I mean, I'm sure people liked it, so. Yeah. You know, at least you were fortunate yeah. enough to have that, and you're deprived, deprived, deprived Everything childhood. Else. I am finished with my yeah. J Bravo. Mine's done, too. All right. Reveal yourself. Get your hands off my penis. This is Johnny Bravo Manifest. For what reason? What is the charge? Eating a meal? A succulent Chinese <laughs> meal? A succulent Chinese uh, meal? I'm pretty happy with mine. I like it. I I'm like not it. sure what his head looks like, but mine's. I kind of got a beavis head shape. Going you on. gave him a beavis hair for sure. <laughs> That's 100% beavis. Hmm. <laughs> his hair has more this lines is the, the in beavis, it. Beavis, you know. Got his health in check, you know. Got a little bit more in shape. Uh, he'd still be a sex pest, as Johnny Bravo is. But this is true. Uh, Did you know I read that in the show Johnny Bravo is technically seventeen? <laughs> that's, that's a wild thought. Okay, I put it in the wrong layer. Hold on. One sec. I'm gonna make this easier for myself. A succulent Chinese meal. Do the monkey with me. Whoa. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Hey, mama. What a weird concept for cartoons. He's like a weird, like, kind of like Elvis F. Uh sex best <laughs> yeah and that's pretty much it what if pepe le pew it's was like also... he's trying <laughs> he's trying to get laid but you know bad mm -hmm. at it what if beavis and I, what if pepe le pew was actually an elvis impersonator is basically <laughs> okay so we're just trying to look at things we're pretty on the money right. Which is wrong, yeah. I think my dynamic pose is a good. Uh, bought me some. Hilarious Johnny Bravo. Oh, got your, got, 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 But mine. Oh, but it's the same like pose. <laughs> oh, so that's the source material you use when you cheated. That's right. Oh no, I've been found. Okay, so we did Giant Bravo now. Who's another character we should draw from memory? Are we back on. Are we live again. We are back on. I'm sorry. Yes. Crazy Kyle's here to throw down an F in the chat. But, you know, we're up and running again. 
Up and running. I don't know who who won chat. Who won? Yeah. Vote. I think it's close. I don't I can't say. Hold on, I'm gonna make a poll real quick. I can do it unless you got it. Okay, hold on. It's oh, gonna be a hard one to decide. I was gonna try and make the poll for ten seconds and then I was just gonna vote in it. <laughs> <laughs> Your, see, your, your mistake was explaining your scheme. Well, they only let you do it for a, a minute minimum. A minute minimum. Alright. Go vote in the poll. We vote in a poll. The poll up right now. I gotta stop. We need to get that much. song. We need that song over here. I need to change the lyrics though, because it mentions Matt by name. Oh. So that's like change the Draw Bomb's gonna go oh. have a poll, and you can't do that because we're slowing our roll. And if you don't vote, <laughs> then we won't really know. Damn it. Well, that Damn. was a waste of time. Well, I guess I forgot we to vote. Out... I should have. Nah, that's democracy right there. Yeah. <laughs> that is. That's... The people who could have decided that things didn't vote. <laughs> Battles are won and lost by people not voting. Yep. All right. Who's the next character we draw? Um, oh, is there a new pull up? I think Kyle put a new pull up. Go vote, Brandon. Oh, there's a pull. Okay. There's a new pull. Won't let me vote. Because I voted. I'm draw bomb right now. <laughs> Uh, well, all I can hope is that people hate us enough that we lose from the neither they both suck about. Just like real democracy. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, they both suck. Alright. Uh, who's the next character we should Can draw? we take a little, uh, a quick little, uh, a little breaky poo? Two minute breaky poo? Sure. We can absolutely do that. Whoa. Ian, or Kyle. Bought uh, an Ian face. Super emote. That's me. That's my face. It's pretty, pretty super. Man, that is a bad picture. Right, another tie. <laughs> You're the one who took it. I know. The lighting kind of makes it look like you have kind of a Joker thing going on. Oh, I was gonna well, I know say. How I got these scars? The cheekbone adds a shadow right where my mustache meets, and it makes it look like I have an extra long mustache that's going like. Woo! Oh, yeah. Maybe that's what it is. That's pretty. There we go. There we go. Now all things are even. Yes. Balance. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Anyways, go take your break. Right. Let's go. Bye, Let's guys. Take a little break. Too. I can. <laughs> I'm gonna... We are back. Runeski. Oh, right. Wow. We're back. Right. Sorry for the delay, everybody. Gosh, they're so patient. What a what a great group. <coughs> oh god. <laughs> that was gnarly. That sounded like an engine starting. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Sometimes I feel a burp like from deep within and I can like yeah. get it to come out. That one was I felt awful. that one. I'm so sorry that everyone had to hear that. That was truly against my will. Um all right, so what's the, what, should we do more characters from memory, or should we uh, move on to some different games? Hmm. We have. Uh, what other games you got? All right. In the meantime, I'll see if I can think of any other characters from memory. Whoever comes up with something better. For... Turn five em turn three to five emojis into a drawing. Draw what you see in a cloud. Uh, draw a character or thing from a. Thing based on its description. Turn an animal or person or, or, or turn an animal or object or something into a person, you know, like uh, personify like just a random thing. Sure. Uh, draw like card game characters based on everything on the card except their portrait. Like we basically get the card and it's everything but the actual portrait of the character. Um, 
draw a JRPG or RPG party based on uh, three random classes slash backstories found on D&D Beyond or some kind of generator thingy maybe. Um, draw a sidekick for a character who doesn't have a sidekick or draw their enemy. Um, draw what you think a word on Urban Dictionary means, and the other person draws the real definition. Thought of a draw from memory we could do. Okay. Chucky Finster. From Rugging Rats? From Rugging, from the rats that rug. Do you think okay. that's, that would be a good one, or, or is that too? I'm okay with that, let's give it a shot. Alright. Okay. I'm gonna hide your Put layers. Up the timer. Are we doing a timer on this I one? Guess we, didn't do, we should we do don't a timer. Have to, actually. I think the timer helps us keep it nice and quick, you know? Keep, yeah, so we're not taking too time too much time to think about it. Yeah. Alright, and I'm gonna draw a line to yeah. separate him. I'm gonna draw the separator again. Yeah. I just gave myself like way more space, hold on. That's alright. I have enough. Oh, hey, Tommy. He has a sinus infection. He does. Take him to Dr. Lipschitz immediately. Yeah, Dr. Lipschitz, that's right. <laughs> all right. I used to watch Are a you... lot of Rugrats. I did too. I watched it all the time. I had Nickelodeon Magazine. They had Rugrats comics in it. I would read them. Oh, you had Nickelodeon Magazine? Oh, I did. It was pretty good. You had a real, real cozy childhood, huh? <laughs> I, I can't complain. You didn't have it tough like people like, no, mine, mine is super. <laughs> <laughs> All right, five minutes are a go starting now. Huh. Okay. I remember this one time in Nickelodeon Magazine for their Halloween issue. They would always have, for their Halloween issue, they'd always have like a spooky scene made with like, like miniatures or made like like an actual like miniature set sort of thing going on but like halloween related uh -huh. and the one time i just remember being like really bloody and violent and being like why what? is this a nickelodeon magazine yeah it was really weird i don't have my nickelodeon magazines anymore so i can't go back and look but like i was gonna say are you sure this isn't like some kind of like mandela thing i i swear i mean look i can't i, I this isn't something that yeah, like i, I can no way to prove it yeah, um, I do remember in Nickelodeon magazine they always had this like picture of a dog that they would like place throughout the magazine issues. It was like it would be tiny and it would basically be like uh, it would have like a little speech bubble and it'd be like commenting on things. So it was like their way of like like I guess the editor's way maybe of like just like popping in a little dog being like hi. It was like the editor's persona, <laughs> I guess. Okay. Is if it really if it really comes down to it. Um, it was the magazine speaking? Yeah, that's right. This dog was like the magazine, and the dog was commenting on things in the magazine. Um, it was impressive the amount of variety they had in that magazine, though. I mean, they had a lot. I of remember the commercials and wanting it. I was like, Nickelodeon magazine, please. Is what I would say to my parents, <laughs> but they just wouldn't get me one. Ah oh, man, at least the commercials taught you to be polite, you know. <laughs> Nickelodeon magazine, please. Um, police! I wonder how much a subscription to Nickelodeon... What's up? My Chucky's... It's going pretty good. I think yeah? So I think so. I remember... Details. I mean... I remember what his dad you know, looked like. If you ask me to... Doing... Yeah, his dad I could draw easier. I have like an image of that. Yeah. Right. The absolute loser stuck in my head. <laughs> I don't know why I came so came down so hard on came down super hard. Charles? Charles Finster, that's right. He he had very much like Opus from uh like uh Bloom County sort of vibes. Like his voice I feel like was almost the same voice as Opus's too. 
thought I was doing good. Now I'm, I'm not feeling so confident anymore. I I knew this was gonna be a fuck up from like the get go, and this is looking I just, pretty much I, as bad as I expected. I just want to, I just want to play this game to, at some point, make you feel as bad about yourself as I did when we did Parappa of the Rapper. That's the only goal. What I did, I my Parappa the, of the Rapper failed. was not close. <laughs> my Parappa I know. The Rappa. Oh well, mine was <laughs> yours was yours was, yours was hilarious. I like your I like your Parappa. <laughs> mine wasn't even close. Not even like remotely close. <laughs> Yours, but it was funny, and I played I played a fair amount of Parappa the Rappa when I was in college because like I, my buddy lent me like all of his PS2 I and never PS1 actually games. Played it. See, that's that'll that'll make a difference. I played it on a demo disc when that was a thing. That you used oh to yes, I miss those so demo like, discs. Like I don't have a job, so I can't buy games. So I just have to play these eight demos on this disc that I somehow got over and over. <laughs> Um, yeah, my buddy Tom, he one time in, when in college just like <clears throat> had a booklet of, of PS2 and PS1 games and was like, yeah, here, take them. I, I can't use them right now. And I was like, okay. So I just like played Amazing. a bunch of games. I don't like I played Manhunt. I played uh, oh, yeah, Rappa I played the Rappa. Um, Manhunt Zeno. was PS2. Yeah, it was. Well, this was PS2 and PS1 games. Okay. Yeah, he had like a shit ton of good games, so I, I I got to play a bunch. He also I watched Beast Wars with that guy. Good times. <laughs> I still need to make. We need to figure out how to like make that GIF I made of the Rhino like pop up on command or something. Dave, we can make, maybe we can make it an emote. True. You're really probably making an emote. Though. It might You're be trying. tiny. I mean, we we should get mix it up. We need to add more emotes. We we should get mix it up. Maybe again next or... stream or one of these streams we just yeah mix it up. We can do that or you know find out. But one of these streams we should just do an emote creating stream. All right, we're out of time. Okay. I'm just gonna do one last no, detail. Okay. Um, all right, I've drawn my character. I'm unhiding yours. Yeah, see the the color. I, I ran out of time to do the color, but yeah, I, I ran. I only was able to do his head. I ran out of time too. So I got the hair way better than you. Yeah, for sure. I, I knew that. his hair was like frizzy and wacky, but I didn't remember how. But now that I see yours, I'm like, yeah, that's closer for sure. The body, I had no idea really. Once I got to that point, I was like, uh, I feel like he had giant shorts. He did have like giant shorts. Okay. Oh yeah, this you you were cool. you had a spaceship shirt. You have alternate universe. Mm hmm. I have Mandela Effect, Chucky. Also, hey, check it out. The shoelaces. <laughs> Nailed the shoelaces. Oh, that's right. I was like, I got to his feet, and I'm like, he's a baby. He probably didn't have shoes on, and I gave him socks. Um, <laughs> you were right. Good call. Yeah. The shoelaces were always untied. I remember that. When I was drawing man, I'm like, I feel like these sleeves are... I remember his sleeves being big, but like, it makes it... It's weird, but it actually is kind of close. Yeah, I remember his shirt. See, I drew his collar on his shirt. I knew his shirt was like weird and kind of different. I forgot how exactly, but yeah. I didn't draw the the collars on the sleeves, but I did draw the collar on the neck. Not terrible. You nailed Yours the shorts. Mine's all grown up. <laughs> yeah, mine's all grown up, Chuck. But how, oh yeah, you even watched... got the pattern kind of right. Yeah. Uh. Did I ever watch All Grown Up? Not, no, not really. I was aware of its existence, but it was like, I think it was just after the period that I would like, no, I guess it was like that. I was the age that they were marketing towards, but I just was not into it. I was super not into it. I remember I watched it the first. It was my first uh, experience of like, <laughs> coming out and me being like, oh, brother. 
Yeah, I I do remember that. Like, it was the first time they were like, "Hey, look at it. it's the show, but it's new." And it's, I was like, "I don't like this." I'm tw I'm twelve. Basically, and I don't the like only this. thing that made the original show fun. Yeah. That they're dumb babies. <laughs> that they're dumbass babies. People. And then like, so we watched like the first episode because it was like a big premiere. And it was dumb, and it was cr super cringe, and I remember, like, all of the characters were trying to go to, like, this concert at the end of the episode, and then at the end of the episode was just like, hey, check out this song from this pop artist we're also pushing. It felt like a giant advertisement for, like, this singer lady. And then there was also a kid named Dill Pickles, which is, I guess he appeared in actual Rugrats. He appeared after the movie. Come on. Stupid. That's actually... Uh, it's actually... Uh, yeah. Dumb. Stupid. Um, so we both did space things. You did a rock chip. I did a uh, black hole on my guy's shirt. You did? That's right. You, that's a black hole right there. <laughs> that's what that is. Yours is closer, technically. I mean... His is a circle with another uh, circle around it. Yours is a circle. I think... I think arguably yours is closer. Not visually, not if we're just breaking down shapes, but you're like in the same marketplace. You're like. I mean, I drew similar. his shirt in the shorts. <laughs> like, his shirt is on the shorts. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you got the right. You got the Saturn down there. I knew there was a Saturn in there. I just didn't know where. I didn't remember that detail. To be honest, I was actually. I was going to put the Saturn on the shirt as well as the rock. Like, because I was like. Is either a rocket ship or is a Saturn? <laughs> You're gonna try to just like, like in uh, middle school when there's like multiple choice and you kind of try to like mark two bubbles and hope. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Well, right. we nailed it. Is there any other characters we can draw from memory? Uh, Buzz Lightyear. Oh man, it's gonna be there. Yeah, let's try it. All right. Probably be the last one of the show. I think so. All right, I'm ready when you okay. are. This one, this one, like in theory, should be like our best one, but at the same time, there's it's more complicated than the other. Yeah, it's more complicated. I feel like I've the seen, design definitely is seen this remember. character more than any of the others, and recently mm. too. In some, in yeah, some true. Cases, like, all right, everybody, all right. You clock is starting. Is it okay? Oh, I got a hat. Zero infinity and beyond. And Harry Potter. You know, I'm not so sure about my my Buzz Lightyear anymore. <laughs> yeah, my I'm I'm mine's gonna be terrible too. I'm just saying, in theory, I would I've seen this character more than a lot of the others. Like I, I feel like the design is know. less confusing than Scyther. Scyther's a lot to remember, you know. Yeah. Well, <laughs> this, this one's is... more complicated. It is. This is looking super goofy already. Did you ever have the Buzz Lightyear game for the Nintendo 64 as a child? Was it a Buzz Lightyear game or was it a Toy Story game? It was a Buzz Light. You were Buzz Lightyear in the game, so it was like a Toy Story 2 the game, but you were Buzz Lightyear. So it was called like Buzz Lightyear in Toy no. Story 2 or something. No, I did not. I did. Oh, I'm sure I remember, you did. I remember as like a kid. Yeah, like, everything. I had, <laughs> I had it all. Um, I remember as a kid not liking it even, like just being like, this game sucks. Like, <laughs> I I like every game you put in front of me, but this one sucks. I did beat it though. Of course you did. That sickness yeah. started when you were young, huh? Well, the thing is, like, I had... Look, that this was back in the olden days where you had, like, the games yeah. you had, and that Makes was it. Makes more sense then. Yeah. 
I know. I was just. No, I do have a sickness. Pick on you, but... I know. I, it's... But no, Here's I mean, I would, I would beat. <laughs> no, you go ahead. What were you going to say? I would beat my head against the wall and play the same games over and over as a kid, too, because you have your, yeah. like, 10 games and you just want to yeah. beat them. In, in the Buzz Lightyear game, you could get all of the tokens that you were trying to collect to, like, progress in the game, and I did not at all. Like, once I beat the... I got the bare minimum to beat the game of tokens, and then I stopped. And I, they were like, hey, do you want to play more? You can get the rest of the tokens that you missed out. And I was like, I'm good. I'll play Star Fox. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's, that's big of you. The game was that bad. <laughs> I'm having, I'm having trouble. <laughs> Mine just looks funny, so I'm kind of leaning into it. <laughs> All things considered, though, I think this is on the money. I even used to watch the Buzz Lightyear cartoon as a kid where he yeah. had like his own crew and stuff and like the blue chick and like the robot dude that's the big big alien thing. yeah that show was pretty good Toy Story really is a great show. movie it is a great movie I just read they're making another one I'm like oh my god come on guys stop fucking stop, stop I mean th I think the Pixar like, that I think four was one too many yeah four was one too many three was perfect didn't need to continue. I didn't like the way four ended. I mean, at least they'll make five, so they'll continue and like maybe undo the dog shit ending of four that I didn't like. Maybe I just, call it uh, dog shit. I didn't like. I just didn't like it as an ending. I just, uh, you know, tend like four or three didn't happen. Four didn't happen, and four didn't I was happen, good yeah. with that. Because three just ended on such a. You, I think. Everyone can kind of like see that like three was the real ending, and then they're just like, now they're just milking it. Yeah. The Toy Story series will end when Andy dies. They'll show him in hospice. <laughs> He'd be like, I always knew my toys came to life, and then Buzz and Woody will like crawl up onto his they bed and be like, for once. Hey there, buddy. We know it's <laughs> almost time to go, and we just wanted to say. Relax, and then they, Buzz and Woody both like take two different ends of a pillow, and then they smother Andy, and they like finally finish the job, and then once they kill Andy from like they're like smothering him in his in his deathbed, they look at each other, and then they say finally we can be at peace, and then they both just like slowly fall to the ground, and as the it turns out Andy's imagination was the magic that kept them alive the whole time and they die as they got as they kill Andy. Oh, I was thinking it'd be something like his wife would be like, for some reason, my husband loved these toys, so we're going to put them in the casket with him. <laughs> they get buried alive. <laughs> you got yeah. a friend in me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are we are out of time. All right. Okay, you gave your your Buzz Lightyear a huge penis. <laughs> That's how it was in the movie, right? <laughs> Do you think there are people who are like they grew up like with a like a attraction to Buzz Lightyear? They're like, hey, put on the Buzz costume. <laughs> yours is yours is so funny. Yours is like the designs that would have existed in like in the like tin toy or like when they were coming up with the movie. <laughs> yeah, like the short that like Toy Story was based on. Uh, but oh my god, Goliath and Dennis time. finally hit 100,000 lips. Oh my god. That's crazy. What does that mean? Don't, uh, we, we've told him that, uh, if he spends them, basically his reward is that he gets banned from the channel. For oh, okay. We, we should actually create that button. We should create that button. And then, not, we won't force him to press it, but it will be there as right. a threat. Uh, or as an option, you know, somebody can, can end it all. All right, so we got our Buzz Light here. Here. Um. <laughs> okay. So if I would have, <laughs> I clearly won. <laughs> <laughs> you did not. <laughs>
Mine's mine's pretty good. Um, I think I got his no, penis yours, size right. Your penis size is incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> Put on the Buzz Lightyear costume for me. <laughs> oh yeah, see it. Got see a Woody. Face. I'm see the first one. Face. <laughs> there's a there's my Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> That's Buzz Lightyear. It's the correct voice actor. Is it Tim Allen? I forgot which one was Tim Allen. Yeah, Tom yeah. Hanks is Woody. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, there you go. Wild. I'm gonna add the channel point uh, thing to get banned. Do it right uh, now. Before next episode. Leviathan Den, thanks for joining us. You're heading out. We appreciate you for sticking around long enough to make uh, 10,000 or a thousand a hundred thousand lips you, that's you're crazy we, you're crazy hey business father business father is here finally welcome you're here just in time for us to be <laughs> wrapping the show up again we gotta stop meeting like this don't, don't go fixing your buzz light. Don't make it look like you did better. <laughs> Put it back. Put it back the way it was. Fine. I just like this drawing. Now I want to like add to it. You can add to it later, but oh, you can't. Oh, you. Oh, you're right, still fine. adding to it. Okay. No, I'm undoing. I'm undoing what I've done. Okay. Got to keep it fair. If I'm keeping this buzz light, you're, you're making his penis bigger. <laughs> okay, that's fine. You know what? You can keep that I one. just want to win. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I love your Buzz Lightyear's head. <laughs> Can you explain uh, a few things about it? Sure. Um, what's so? Does he have a mask on, or does he have like a Homer five o'clock shadow? Well, you see, do you see his like uh, purple thing that goes around his head? Yeah, that's it. Oh, you thought it like covered his like eyes and nose? I forgot. <laughs> I'm no, I'm not like shitting on you. I was just, I just wanted to understand. I'm just, I'm just asking because the drawing. I was. Yeah, I thought it covered his whole not, face I'm not, I'm for a second. To shit I forgot. On you. I'm not trying to shit on you. I'm just asking what I'm looking at in a couple. Yeah, of I thought it looked like how it looked. Okay. <laughs> hey, no need to be so defensive. Any other questions? No, I think I think that's it. I got the chin swirl. You didn't even get. You the did chin get the chin swirl. swirl. I was thinking I should add the chin swirl, but I couldn't remember. I knew the chin was a prominent feature. I can't believe I forgot all the buttons. I tried with I got the buttons. I got the buttons right, actually. If you look at it, they're just reversed. <laughs> I got them right. Luz bite ear. <laughs> I got Luz bite ear. So I got Two the buttons. Infantities. To a very I'm defined home. number and beyond, or actually within. <laughs> to a very defined number and within. Good stuff it's happened here today. Top quality content right here. Uh, <clears throat> mm. Brandon! You have anything to plug? Well, we can't plug Short Short Fest anymore because that's come and gone. Nah. That's done. That's been done. Um. Nope. Don't really have. I guess uh, the show I'm working on once it comes out. Keep an eye out for Adult Swim for a show that's coming out once it comes out. Are you still working on that, or have you hit the finish line? Got a few. We have a few more shots to do, but the finish line is rapidly approaching. Okay. After you finish that, I'm gonna. We're, we're gonna. We have a cartoon that's been sitting in limbo for a while. I just remembered yesterday. Cowboy one. And uh, the no, the one before that. The the. Player Dead Family stuff. Yeah. So. Yeah, I got to edit it. We'll, we'll link up. Well, I know, but I we still need to like you know talk about changes and stuff. You've been waiting on us. And oh yeah. You've done your part. <laughs> us. So I'm gonna I'm gonna link up with you and we'll get that that ball rolling again you know, once you have some more free time. Cool. Uh, business father. Yes, that is so, correct. You twerking on Fisted? I am twerking on Fisted. I've been added to the team. Sorry, Brandon, I cut you off. What were you saying? No, 
That's all good. So I'm just saying, you know, we have another cartoon. Yeah, we should we should we should get these come out bad boys in the, shipped in up the and shaped out. Ish future. No, I, I agree. Let's definitely link up at some point. Let's talk. Up, let's link up at some point to talk business. To talk draw bomb. To talk yeah, let's do a progress fast. Sketch. Let's do a progress fast. Cool. Ooh uh, wee. Other than that, I don't have anything to plug either. Ooh, wee. sorry. Uh, business father says ooh wee. Do you think they said ooh wee like ooh wee or like uh, meet Mr. Meeseeks? Ooh wee. <laughs> I feel like those are. Oh yeah, I guess one's kind of different. No, I think it's an ooh wee as a, you know, excited ooh wee. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> they followed up with a congratulation. So that's how you. Know. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm very excited to be part of the team. It's gonna be my first professional credit and the first shot I animated was a dick swinging between two legs. So I chose yeah, that shot initiation. specifically because I could say it was my first professional credit. It is initiation. It. Thanks well, everybody Brandon, for watching tonight. Yeah, thank Business you. Father, Leviathan Den, Crazy Kyle, uh, Lotus Clock, Bell Bell Rocket. We love you. Yeah, love that's you all of them, I think. Thanks, guys. Appreciate all of you being here. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for being here with us while I... Do draw bomb for babies and kids. Or kids and babies. And kids. Yeah, in that order. In that order specifically. Um, yeah, business The kids father, know you... how to accidentally use their parents' credit card better than the babies, so we should target them more. Yeah, absolutely. And it's censored. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a censored penis. I put the Statue of David underneath the censor bar as a little funny joke for me. Um... Yeah, uh, what a, what a show it's been. You missed out on a lot of stuff. <laughs> you missed out on Draw Bomb for Kids and Babies, and that was a trip. Um, you did not miss out on Buzz Lightyear uh, with a with a large hog. With a honking so, penis. Lucky you. Yeah, so that really honks. That Buzz Lightyear really honks me off. Anyways, bye, folks. See you later. Get your hand off my penis! This is the bike who got me on the penis before. <laughs> I love that sound clip. For what reason? What is the charge? Eating a meal? I'll chuck you, I'll suck it in.